Good evening, friends. I hope you are all doing well. I am also fine. Today, I'm going to show you how you can set up a new Kubernetes cluster with uh, multiple worker nodes using Kube ADM. So I have created some videos regarding Minikube, but that can only create one, uh, one single node, one master, that's it. But in real environment or real world for production environments, we have to use multiple nodes, right? So multiple worker nodes, you can add, you can remove, it's, uh, it's very normal. So one node Kubernetes, it's not really ideal for production. It's good for like you do some testings, that's good, but not for production. So um, we're going to use AWS EC2 instances for running uh, or creating those master, master node and the uh, worker nodes, or uh, the control plane or API server and worker nodes. And then uh, these examples you can run on your own, like uh, on previous or maybe in your GCP, uh, Azure, everywhere. So the, the code, the command that will be same, it is just I'm going to show you on AWS. So let's get started. I am here uh, on my EC2 uh, dashboard and here I'm going to launch an instance. Basically, I'm going to launch uh, three instances. So one for the master node and the two others are for the worker node, right? So let's, maybe two is fine. You can one master node and one uh, worker node and then you can do the replicate the same process for as many nodes as you want. So let's do nodes. Here you want to choose Ubuntu and then I'm going to choose uh, Ubuntu 20 because uh, 22 I'm facing some issues with 22. So 20 is stable and all the commands that will I'm going to give you will run in 20. There is no issue. Choose T3 medium. That is uh, kind of like minimum. If you can choose higher, that is also fine. Choose and keep here. Uh, create a new security group like here. Don't choose that four. Fine. Use 20 gigs. Use an IAM role or IAM instance profile that I already pre -cre created previously. If you don't know how to create, please watch my other videos. I have shown many times how to create IAM role and assign that to the IC2 instance. That's it. Launch instances. So what we'll do, we will use one for the master node and one for the worker node, right? So let's refresh this, these two. So let's do here, master. And then this is, we are going to do worker. Well, actually master node, let's just fix it, master node, worker node. Right, good. So let's go to master node. This is our master node. Refresh it. Click the connect button and uh, let's connect. That's simple. I have uh, kind of collected all the commands in one single block so that you don't have to like Google everywhere. It's all in one place. You can just copy paste from there. So uh, at first, what we have to do is like install the uh, Docker. I'm going to use the root privilege that will make, make life easier. Without root, that is also fine because all those commands you see sudo, sudo, sudo. So you can run it without root as well. Okay, I'm going to copy those commands and run it here one by one. Then these two. Oh, sorry, I think this two will go together. Then this is the one for, let's see. Um, let's copy one by one here. I think this is good, right? And then this is the command to install it. Okay, 
Meanwhile, this is installing Docker. I'm going to go for the worker node. And then here also connect. I'm going to run the install the commands here as well. So you also do the same here. You also need to install the uh, Docker and all those things. Same process, just copy the commands. this command and run it here and then similar to this one and here as well and then these two commands that should do the job This will install Docker. Here we have already installed the Docker installation is done. That's good. This is optional. You can verify whether Docker is working fine or not. I'm not going to do that, but you can do this to test it. Okay, this uh, I'm going to use uh, the container D for the CRI. Uh, you just need to modify this uh, config.toml file to remove the disabled plugins. So I'm going to run nano. Then this is the file. Here you see disable plugin CRI. So this is I need to uh, comment it out. Good. So then we have to do uh, restart the container D. Then we need to install kubeadm, kubelet, kubecut, right? Very simple things. We need to run this. This. And we need to install the kubectl, kubeadmin, kubelet. Okay, for some reason, this last comment is didn't work. So I just need to copy it again. Okay, so um, this is the version 1.27. So if you want to change it, then check out these files where it says version 1.27. So change those values here. Okay, then we're going to run this comment in the master node to create the uh, API server. Clear. And then run it. Okay. Uh, this will take some time. Let's go back to our worker node where we installed uh, Docker and go up and do the other things. So install Docker and then we need to uh, update the YAML file. I'm going to use nano, then uh, go down, add a comment this line, and then save, restart system CT, system CTL, restart, and NRT. But then what we have to do is like uh, run these commands, To install the kubelet, kubeadm, and all those commands. 
copy this line. Then this is the line. Okay, so we are going to install the Qblade QBDM and kubectl. So here, okay, our uh, cluster creation is done. If you see the output message here, it says QBDM join. Copy this command. This is uh, needed for uh, connecting the worker node with the master node. So th this is command you need to save it somewhere. Then here it says this line export cube config it is admin.com. Copy this line and paste it here. I am running it as root, so this is applicable for me. If you are running as a normal user, then you should run these commands. Okay, now clear this export and let's say cube get view. Okay, so there is a quick uh, tip, use uh, the, an alias k for cube cuttle, so that will save your time. What I'm going to do is like nano and then bash rc file here. If you go down, okay. add your alias a like this. Equals cube CTL. Okay. Save and then I run source. Okay. Now you can run K get PO. You get the same result, right? Okay. One thing, if you have noticed that our code DNS is not running, it's pending because we have to install a CNI plugin. So here we are going to use uh, Calico and the command is given here to install Calico. This is the command for installing Calico. I'm going to copy this and run. Yeah, this will install Calico as a CNI plugin. Then if you want to uh, use uh, these master master node as a like schedule your pods. So there are two ways. You can decide either that there will be no pods in the master node or you can use some pods in master node as well. So if you wanted to use master node as your node as well, like the worker node. So you, you can need to taint the master node. Okay, now if you do uh, k get a node, then you will see your node is ready. Good. Now, you, uh, before we run this command into uh, the worker node, what we have to do is we need to go to the security group of the master node. This is our master node. This is master node. Go to the security, security launch wizard four. What we have to do is like we need to open the port. So I'm going to do all TCP to this security this security group, right? So that they can communicate. Master node and the worker node can communicate on all the ports internally. SG00, this is the one. SG00B9. SG00B9. Okay, copy. Now let's uh, copy the join command and run it on the worker node. This is our worker node, right? Run sudo. Yeah. So the master node and the worker node has joined. Let's see who our, okay, here it is. Our master node and this is the worker node. Now let's deploy one, uh, one pod. So let's run this k run nginx and fine. So this is one pod. So k get po. 
now it should show that we are starting the container. We are watching k get no. Let's see what is the status here. Because we just started our worker node, so it will take some time. Yeah, it's running now. You see. So if we do this, it should see Nginx pod is running. And if we do all, you're going to see all the pods are running. So now you can replicate the process for creating more worker nodes. Like I just created one worker node, but you can just run this whole process from here till up to this this line so you can run and then you can kind of like uh, what you can do is like you can create an image of this instance and then create more worker nodes and then run this join command okay that's it for today i hope this will help you to get started with your uh, kubernetes in AWS running on EC2. If you don't want to have like manage instances, then you can use this. This is very useful. And I find it very much, uh, very easy. It just take 10 or 10 or 15 minutes. So that being said, let's, I'm done. So I'm going to delete the instances because these are costing money. So uh, let's just delete it. Terminate, terminate, and we're done. Thank you, everyone. Allah peace. Assalamu alaikum. Bye-bye.